What's up everybody? I am here and I'm really excited about the project I'm about to do. I have yet to do this. I've always wanted to. I'm making sensorial slime. I'm doing three different kinds today. We're gonna start with fluffy slime, then we're gonna move on to galactic slime, and then something called oobleck. Okay, so you're gonna start with your Elmer's glue. You're gonna go ahead and do two thirds of this bad boy. Oh goodness me, I just forgot. I should probably take off my ring because it's about to get messy. And then you can also take a spatula and go ahead and scrape the sides. Waste not, want not, y'all. All right, so now we have our second third. Funny, I used a lot of these things on my cooking show. If you guys haven't checked it out, please subscribe, get notifications, check out the show. Christy's Kitchen throwback, so fun, but it's very different to be using glue, very different. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on to the next ingredient, which is water. One fourth cup. This is totally like science. Now we've got our baking soda. We've got a half a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna put the color in. And since this really is something I'm gonna be making for my daughter, I'm going to head and do blue. She really, really loves blue. So let's go ahead and play with blue. Let's start with four and see what happens. Like I do with my cooking show, the recipes are below or slime. I've seen a lot of slime kits. Sometimes it's fun to just do it with the stuff that you have around the house. Look how pretty this is. All right. All right, so this is well mixed. It's a baby blue. I'm sure we could probably make it darker if we wanted to, but I think this is just about the color my daughter likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix the secret ingredient. If you are doing this with your kids, you wanna make sure that they get nowhere near this. It's two tablespoons of contact solution. Once you include this and you're finished with it, you wanna make sure that you clean your hands. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it's instant slime. Wow, this is crazy. Science! Once we get this to the desired texture, we can refrigerate it to keep off mold and we can use it whenever we want. In my house, it might be an everyday thing. Sensory stuff is so awesome. Now I can see why people love slime so much. Personally, I'm a huge fan of slime. I've been a fan of slime my whole life. Slimer was my favorite cartoon character growing up. I loved, loved, loved him. I had Slimer bed sheets. I was a big Ghostbusters fan. And I played with Gak. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but Gak was exactly this, but it had all sorts of crazy colors. This is really pretty. I love the way this turned out. All right. Now, I guess if you wanted to make this less sticky, you could add some more contact solution, but I would very much like to see what this plays like. Oh. <laughs> this is great, look at that. This is awesome. Slime! Whoa! That's amazing. I made slime, everybody. I feel so accomplished. You know, when life gets you down, make yourself some slime. Okay, so this is a really great texture. It's very playful. You can um, just leave it like this, or if you wanna make it fluffy, go ahead and spray two to three cups of shaving cream. And then we're gonna have some fun, fun, fun. They say that kids learn and are happiest when they have experiential things like this. That makes me happy to learn how to do stuff like this for my kids. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna fold it in, we'll use my hand. I don't think this is how you do it. Oh wait, wait, is it? There might've been like a window. That's my only thing, but I don't know. I'm just like working it in, but. All right guys, this is a, uh, a DIY fail. That's okay. I thought that the fluffy shaving cream could be added after. And while it does look like, it's, it kind of looks like it's working now. This egg's really odd, okay? This is like, I'm not even sure this is like human. Well, why would it be human? It's, I think it's working, Never mind. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. You know, you gotta go with it. I'm wiping it clean. And here we have fluffy. It's fluffy. It's a bit, it is fluffy. The texture is definitely different. It like rips. It's more like if you wanna get some anger out, rip it up, rip it up, get it back together again. I like it. All right, fluffy. You might wanna add the shaving cream before though. That is my tip for you on that one. We're gonna go ahead and make galactic slime. Very excited about this. We've got our really beautiful Martha Stewart high pigment sparkles right here. We've chosen like a range of them so that we can fold them into the slime when it's time. We'll go ahead and use the same measurements that I did before. It's two thirds glue. 
This time we're using a clear glue. And we'll go ahead and scrape the sides. All right, so now we're gonna do one fourth cup of water and the baking soda. All right, so now we can start doing glitter. All right, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna start with the blue because I feel like the black could potentially make it dark very fast. I'd really like for it to be colorful. Again, my daughter's favorite color is blue, as is mine and as is my husband's. Not sure what Sophia's favorite color is because she's nine months old, but I'm gonna start lightly. Ooh, okay, that's pretty. See, that's got a nice purple. All right, I'm gonna add some black now. I think it's better to kinda pepper it in rather than dump it in, because then it's evenly distributed throughout the glue, you know? Oh yeah, that's great. Now it's really looking spacey. And then there's another color. This one is a uh, sort of like, almost like a steel gray kind of. So it's looking good. The purple went a long way. There's three total colors there so that it really looks like multi-dimensional in case you're really trying to get that night sky effect. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our magic ingredient. And we all know what that is. Very toxic. Two tablespoons of contact solution. Please, please make sure this is nowhere near your children's anything, <laughs> okay? And you too. <coughs> Cover it up, put it away. Woo, that went right away. Right away, you can really see how it, I believe the word is congeals. Congeals. Look at that, that is coming together. If I keep stirring it, it's gonna get to that exact texture that we had before. So fear not, it will, it will dry out and then you'll be able to keep it for a while. And as I said before, you can put it in the fridge, make sure it doesn't get moldy and be able to have sensorial play anytime you want. Wow, this is really cool. Whoa. So while it's not colorful, it's really cool to look at. Really cool. And all those colors that we put in, they really pay off. You can have as much fun as you want, but this truly is galactic slime. It's like playing with space. I love it. This is really cool. I almost feel like I've been abducted by an alien. There you go, guys. Galactic slime. So you see how this is sticking to my fingers just a little bit more? Sticky, sticky, like that. You could always add more contact solution safely. Yeah, I might actually, oops, it got on the board. It got on the cutting board, might not come off, might have to throw the cutting board out. Oh boy. It, 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 it's still going on the cutting board, okay. My husband's gonna kill me. Love that cutting board. All right. <laughs> so this is really cool. Up next, we're gonna do oobleck, which is baby safe. Okay, so now we're gonna make oobleck. Oobleck is basically Play-Doh that, you know, Play-Doh is non-toxic technically, but I personally would like to have my baby play with something that I made. This is just cornstarch and water. Pretty easy, guys. I'm sure you could probably put food coloring in it too, but this is just the simplest way to make sure that your babies are playing with something that's easier for them in case they put it in their mouth. So you got one and a half cups of cornstarch and one cup of water. And you can go ahead and use your hands. See this, I wouldn't mind my daughter helping me make, the older one. That is warm, warm water. So as you can see, this measurement is not enough. It's experimental. So we're gonna put a lot more cornstarch. I would say probably double the amount, maybe? Because you're gonna want it to be the texture of honey that you can also kind of break apart. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle more in and work it around. Little known fact, Oobleck is from a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, here we go. It's becoming something. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, so now I think it needs more water. This is not going well. Oh, wait. Yeah, it just needs more water. It's really weird. Maybe it is, maybe this is good. Maybe this is the way it's supposed to be. Hold on, this is weird. Whoa, this is weird. I'm very confused by what's happening right now. What? This is blowing my mind. What's happening? Is this real life right now? Am I in the matrix? This is weird. It's making me weird, feel weird things. What? It's a liquid and a solid at the same time? <laughs> this is really weird. This is really, really weird. What's happening? If you wanna freak your kids out, 
make this. Wow. Or if you've had too much to drink, you can go ahead and play with this on a Friday night and see what happens. Because this is some weird stuff. Wow. I don't know how to describe what this feels like, but it's basically like you're just like, you're on some serious hallucinogens or something. That's what it feels like. How is this a liquid and a solid, man? This is some weird stuff. I'm telling you, man. I didn't know what I was making and I made it and it's nothing like slime. This is like a whole nother level of sensory play. What to do, what to do, what to do what to do. Well, thank you so much. This is Ublek, and I hope you guys enjoy making it. Make sure you comment below on any other DIY crafts or activities you think that I can make. I love them, I love them, I love them. Go over to my Pinterest page, I have a ton of stuff. I'm a huge Pinterest fan, so if you haven't checked out my Pinterest, I'll, I'll put a link below. And just uh, have a good day, bye.